Hi there, I'm Fiddler's product manager, Rob Harrell, and today I'll be walking you through Fiddler's new hybrid explain capability we're introducing to help data science teams more intuitively explain complex models that combine different types of data, including text, tabular, and eventually image data. So we're going to be looking at a deep learning model that is computing predictions on the risk of loan applications and the degree to which they are likely to either um, default or be paid in full. And you can see here the inputs or features to this model are a combination of numeric values as well as a text description of the loan. So I'm going to hop over to the explain tab and query a sample of the model's training data. And for this first data point here, I'm going to generate a prediction or point level explanation. And when I do this, we're immediately presented with a nice intuitive point overview. And this combines a text description of how the model came to its 0.413 prediction score for probability default and um, corresponding 0.587 probability for paid. And we can see here uh, a couple of the key features on the positive attribution side, as well as the negative attribution side. And this interface is a great summary for non-technical or business users who just want a high level understanding of the model's behavior with respect to this particular prediction. And by the way, this interface also scales to n number of outputs in the case of multi-label or multi-class. We can from here go a bit under the hood and check out the feature attribution tab to get a sense of how specifically each of these feature inputs is attributing and feeding into this overall prediction score. And so we can see here a consolidated list of all the features, both in this case, the numeric features, as well as the text feature, this application description. For the numeric features, we can see where the point lies relative to the entire distribution of points in the data set. And within the text data, this application description, we can open up and take a look at the individual word level attributions for each of these words and how they combine into this overall text blob attribution score. As usual, we can then, if we choose to, conduct what if analysis by quote unquote fiddling with the inputs. So we can, for instance, take a look at this annual income, which is $40,000 in this case, and increase it to 100,000 and see how the model would have predicted uh, the probability default with this new set of inputs. So I'm rerunning here. And indeed, as expected, the probability of default with this newly increased uh, income value decreases substantially by about 50%. So in this way, you can now have a single interface that combines all of the different types of data feeding into your model. And we're very excited to unlock further insight and value for you using this.